Hey guys, John from The John Muir Show here, and uh, yet yeah, one of the top social media platforms in the world is back in the news once again. See, Facebook and its CEO Mark Zuckerberg have come out and said that they are going to be creating a trustworthiness ranking when it comes to news organizations. They're going to be ranking organizations based on, like it says in the title, just how much you can trust the content that they have in the reporting and their posts. This all coming after Facebook had been under quite a bit of scrutiny as it turned out that a data breach compromised the information of at least 87 million of their users uh, that had gotten Mark Zuckerberg to go to Capitol Hill to speak with congressional investigators on various committees. And during the time, not only was the matter of security discussed in terms of Facebook, but they also talked about how it seemed that there was a pattern going on with the social media giant about how they constantly were stifling conservative speech that it appeared that the liberal company didn't like. Now, Mark Zuckerberg is somebody who's made campaign donations. Uh, he's made some fairly sizable ones to Democratic candidates. And you just know how a lot of folks in these companies are. So kind of shows the hand of Facebook, especially when they start shutting down things that they should not be shutting down and trying to deem them as hate speech. So anyways, now they're saying there's going to be this trustworthiness ranking in place. But of course, in announcing this and trying to sound all good and like they're just, you know, being on the up and up and all that. There was nothing said about how these rankings were actually going to be judged. No word as to what was going to go into deciding whether an organization, a news outlet, is trustworthy or not. And should we really have faith in Facebook at this point in time? I mean, keep in mind, like I said, when they were uh, being, you know, had talked to Mark Zuckerberg up on Capitol Hill, uh, you had a lot of conservatives speaking to him and giving him a list of all the different people and organizations that were being shut down on Facebook. And Zuckerberg was saying that, oh, well, you know, uh, with Facebook, we're not purposely trying to go out of our way. Uh, oh, they all happen to be conservatives? That was a bunch of Republican sites that we were shutting down? Oh, no, this is news to me. This is the first time I'm hearing it. He was trying to say, no, whenever something gets shut down on Facebook, it's all because it was, you know, terrorist speech or hate speech. Yeah, so uh, please uh, square this circle for me, Mark. How exactly does Diamond and Silk, as uh, Representative Marsha Blackburn of Tennessee pointed out, how does that qualify as terrorist speech or hate speech? See, there are a couple of African-American conservative women who make a living by doing videos where they talk about their political views. They're very pro-Trump. They don't go saying anything that's considered hateful. I mean, there's some people who would disagree with it, but it's not like this is hateful. This is not some like alt-right, you know, conspiracy site that's going on here. This is just two people saying how they feel, making a living off of it. They're not swearing. They're not doing anything that would be traditionally seen as inappropriate. But yet at the same time, you decide to pull the plug on them. Why? Because you don't like it. You can't stand the fact they're pro-Trump. You can't stand the fact that there are African-American people out there who don't fit into that box that you and so many people on your side of the aisle like to always try and fit all minority groups into. Oh, they're a minority? They're a woman? Oh, that means they've automatically got to be a Democrat. Oh, and then people break the mold and you don't like that. So you go ahead and you pull the plug and you derive them a part of their source of income. Hmm, really classy of you. So we're supposed to believe going forward that you're going to be all fair and objective in this? Well, you know what? It makes it even more difficult to believe when you find out that uh, the group that is going to be uh, determining what is uh, considered the, um, what, what do you call this, the trustworthiness rating? Yeah, uh, including in that is uh, the, the oversight of a law firm that has ties to Eric Holder. You know, the uh, far left uh, former uh, Obama administration official? Yeah, that guy. So you're trying to tell me that this is all just going to be called straight down the middle? Yeah, for some reason, I'm having a really hard time believing you. And you try and make yourself Facebook to seem like you're the ones who are really taking a hit here as they're talking, oh, well, you know, uh, the, there's so much money we're probably going to lose in, you know, uh, what could be, you know, uh, political ads and all that stuff. Please spare me. You are not the ones suffering. The people who've been suffering have been conservatives. Conservatives having their speech stifled. Conservatives who are going on a website that promotes itself as being an opportunity for people of diverse political opinions to go on and not being able to see the content they want to see 
because you and your buddies don't agree with it. You know what, if you want, if you want that to be the case, just come out and say, we're a bunch of liberals and conservatives are not welcome here, but don't try and pull this crap and pull the wool over our eyes and sing, oh no, we love everybody, because you clearly don't. And this new stupid policy you're putting in, hmm, for some reason, I have a feeling it's not gonna change a single damn thing. It's all the time that we have for today, but as always, the John Muir Show, weekday mornings on WTAQ, WHBL, and WSAU. The John Muir Show page on any of those websites. Text John to 79489 to keep up with everything going on with the show straight to your phone. And you can follow me at John Muir, WTAQ, on Facebook and Twitter. Till next time, my friends, I'm out.